Well, good morning and welcome into this space. I'm glad that you've joined us this morning. Hope that each and every one of you are well. Uh, Con, to answer your question, yes, I do. I'll, I'll post a YouTube feed on here in, in just a few minutes Okay, for you, okay? So glad that everyone is with us and I hope that each of you are feeling well and uh, having a good day to uh, get started here. Let us just get ourselves organized. I know I need to get myself organized by just taking a deep breath and coming into that reality of Jesus being with us. So let's take a deep breath now. Let it out slowly. Okay. Just real slow, let's let ourselves settle in and Jesus is with us. We know that he's with me and he's with you, wherever you might be. And we know that God is certainly caring and watching over us even during this pandemic. Even though the strife and the craziness that is going on around us in, in so many different forms. Jesus is with us, okay, we're thankful for that. and. Let's start with some prayer this morning, as we always do. We're following the first Sunday after Epiphany with the baptism of our Lord. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him the Holy Spirit grant that all who are baptized into his name that name may keep the covenant that they have made and boldly confess as Lord and Savior who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reign one God in glory everlasting Amen <clears throat> Our reading this morning is, we have two Psalms 5 and 6 and then we have the Gospel according to Mark Let's start with reading this first reading here let me just check something and make sure all is going well <clears throat> for one reason or another it's not coming up here under streaming it's not coming up under my uh, Facebook page that's curious Although it is appearing under Reliance, which I know is because Khan's on there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get going here. I'll po have it posted later for those who would like to see. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sign. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you. And watch, for you are not of God, who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies, and the Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make me your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear the guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord, and you cover them with favor as with a shield. So that is Psalm 5. We're going to read Psalm 6 now. I'm going to 
try something here in the middle of this. Psalm 6. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O oh Lord, for I am languishing. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are shaking with terror. My soul also is struck with terror, while you, O oh Lord, how long? Turn, O oh Lord, save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love. For in death there is no remembrance of you, and Sheol, oh, who can give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with weeping. My eyes waste away because of grief. They grow weak because of my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil. For the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All who in, all my enemies shall be ashamed and struck with terror, and they shall turn back and in a moment be put to shame. And that is Psalm 6. You know, it's seeking God's protection against our enemies, even our internal enemies, because many times that's the, the most dangerous enemy that we have is those that are internal. Our gospel then the reading this morning is gospel according to Mark chapter 1 verses 14 through 28. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea. For they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and he left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. And just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit convulsing him and crying with a loud voice came out of him. And they are amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this, a new teaching? With authority, he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him at once. His fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us say, thanks be to God. So we've got this teaching this morning uh, in the gospel according to Mark. And we know that this is, Jesus has left uh, Jor the Jor area of the Jordan River where he was baptized. And he's gone to the wilderness and he's come back in. And as Mark tells us, this is the beginning of his his ministry. And John had been arrested and, and he had come to Galilee and he became to proclaim the good news, the good news of the kingdom of God and called Israel to repent, to, to realize that God had was fulfilling something in front of them. Of course, they are blind to what is going on. Blindness seems to be a problem that we have this day with seeing what is going on and with seeing where God is at work and God is present and God is doing new things. God is always doing new things. So anyway, so we have him going in here and he starts calling his disciples. And it reminded me when I read that, they just, you know, he's calling the disciples now, Peter and his brother Andrew and the two brothers, James and John, he's calling them. And later he says, you know, I chose you. 
you didn't choose me. I chose you. And, you know, that's a lot of way to, like how he brings his disciples. He chooses you and tags your heart to come and follow him. And at what point do we do we follow? Sometimes we we drag our feet. Sometimes we try to turn away rather than, than just to follow him. And then we have another sign from Mark of Jesus' holiness, the Holy One of God, exclaimed out by this 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 evil spirit. It's interesting, the evil spirits, they seem to know who Jesus is. They know the truth. And Jesus is the truth, right? We get that. He, we know they know who he is, yet they're still evil. And and I th I think that, you know, those you know, Satan knows who Jesus is, yet he still perpetrates evil against humankind. So that's, that's an interesting thought to me this morning. I'll have to dwell on that, just throw that out there so that you could too. Well, let's go ahead and move to our prayer. Let me check this part here. Okay, still, still not coming through. Oh, here we are. It is here now. Okay. All right, let's move to our prayer. In peace we pray to you, Lord God. Show us your mercy upon us and grant us your salvation. We pray for all people in their daily life and work, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and for those who are alone. We pray for this day are going into it. Bless the labor of our hands and minds so that they may add to your glory. May our every step and action be a witness to our love for you and for our neighbor. We pray for this community, for the nation and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. We pray for reconciliation and for hate and violence to be vanished from this land. We pray for Reliance and Writings Chapel Charge, for the Virginia Annual Conference, for our Bishop Sharma Lewis, for the Global United Methodist Church, and for all your churches that witness to your glory. We pray that all who profess and confess themselves to be Christians may be led into the ways of truth and hold faith in unity of spirit and in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. We pray for our world at this time of challenge in the face of the coronavirus pandemic, for those who lead us through this crisis, for the doctors and nurses overwhelmed by the numbers, for those quarantined, for those who are suffering with the virus, for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for our world at this time of challenge in the face of the 
social unrest brought them by device of the systemic racial injustices and hatred for the other. We pray for all of those who are peacemakers and for those who seek to end injustices. We pray for children, youth, and young adults growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. May they find your path, Lord Jesus. Lead them away from your false promises of the world. We pray for your mercy on those of our families and communities whose increasing years have brought them weakness and distress or isolation. Help us to be their helpers and caretakers. Increase their faith and assurance of your love. We pray for the forgiveness of our sins. Let us pray this together. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold your spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now let us as people of God pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Again, my friends, I'm glad that you are with us this morning. Had this opportunity to Set yourself up for prayer. Glad that God is with you in your life and that uh, things are going well for you as, as you get into this week. It's been tough and it's difficult for all of us. Let us just close with our prayer of St. Chrysostom, but and, oh, let me always, as I always do, remind you to take care of each other. We That's our, our job to do as Christians, is to take care of each other, and we're going to wear our masks, we're going to take and wash our hands as we come back in, and we're going to try to stay away from places where, where a lot of people are gathering. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace and believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care, my friends. Con, what I will post on here the, the link for you very quickly for the uh, the YouTube feed. Everyone take play, God bless and, and I will see you soon. Day by day and with each passing moment strength I trials here, trusting in the Father's wise bestowing of no cause for worry or for fear. These whose heart is kind beyond all measure, is unto each day what
Face sweet consolation Offer 